Hi lovely people, here I am with my lovely friend of each Italia and I'm gonna show you how to make it authentic, authentic Neapolitan pizza. First of all, we start with the dough. So simple, anyone can make it. Here I have 500 grams of pure strong flour. You have to make sure that the flour has to be strong flour, not soft flour. So, all goes in. Here I've got three grams of salt, but you can increase to five grams. Too much salt is bad for you and not salt is bad for you. So, let you judge yourself. Mix it well with a spoon because I'm going to put a yeast inside here. A yeast don't really like salt. So mix well. This way the yeast won't feel it because it's all mixed with the flour. Here I have a 325 milliliter of water. Make sure it's cold water, not hot water. And you put some of the water inside the yeast. Just a little bit to dissolve the rest. Slowly, slowly, go straight inside. So perfect. So you start the mixing now. Look at that, that is really nice. Right? It looks a little bit dry, but it's not because you got the rest inside here. With your finger, just stir them all nicely. Make sure, look, all goes in. Look, drip them all in. Everything went straight in. I start to mix it. Look at that. Beautiful. Fantastic. Now, this is where you're going to use your hands. Your hands is your best tool. I start to mix inside the bowl. Okay, now everything's on the table. Make sure you clean everything. Okay, and then start to knit. Okay. Get your hands and make sure you really need to write down everything. <laughs> I remember when I used to go in Naples, there was so many pizzaioli in Naples there, special at the back street of Naples. All those pizzaioli early in the morning, mixing, 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 while they were mixing, singing all sort of me, believe me, every Neapolitan can make a pizza and every Neapolitan can sing. Beautiful place then you probably will have this fantastic lovely pizza in a trattoria or in a pizzeria and you take a little stroll right down the Marcellina by the seaside and then you move from the sea you go up to Capo di Monte where you can see Naples from there and you stand back and you stand like this and you say nice on Naples then I can die but anyway let's do the pizza you can see look I cleared everything look at that look at your hands this is ready. Now I'm going to put this one inside a bowl, cover it with a damp cloth and wait for about half an hour and then you see what's happening. There it is. Look at that. Fantastic. So nice. Just cut them in half. So you grab your ends and you just fold it nicely. Just like a little baby. Look. Roll them on top. This is going to rest for at least half an hour. Then we make it. Look at the way they're risen. Look how nice they are. So let's start to make a pizza. I need abundant flour. On yes, I need lots of flowers. Guess it. Oh, yes. Let's start for one first. There it goes. So easy. So you put them on a table and you press in the middle. Just press it. Then hold in your hands. Slowly, slowly, slowly. You make sure they're folding nice. This is a proper Neapolitan pizza with a nice large lips. Look at that, fantastic. Hey, hey, I love it. I love it. Just put them on top, yeah. Just when your finger goes round. Lovely. God, it's so easy. Then you get some olive oil, a good olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, just a little bit at the middle. Now we go back with the lovely passata we have here. Just put a little bit on the middle and you start from the middle all along. 
look from the middle and you pick him up slowly 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 do not over crowd it with a tomato you don't need to a little touch of salt just a little touch of salt all the Neapolitan love to put parmesans I give it an extra flavor just a little bit on top then you get the lovely mozzarella. Buffalo mozzarella is the best. Old Nica mozzarella is also good. Do not overcrowd it. Just make sure you go all around. Look, this, this is the way to do it. Make sure you go around nicely. Look, little olive oil again. Italian pizza have a minimum topping. Not like English pizza salami. Mortadella, papers, mushrooms. So again, a lovely basil. And so ready to bake it. Right, let's do it. Very important the temperature of the oven. Here, I've got a nice temperature, a wood fire oven. You don't have a wood fire oven. What do you do it? Easy. Comes so good as well. So you go to the highest temperatures, you have 200, 300, you preheat for about half an hour. I can guarantee. I can guarantee if you make it this way, it's perfect pizza. Now, I need to bake this one. Let's put this one up. You do exactly the same as what I do at home. Grab the pizza and pull it. Then, you open your door and you bake it. Press it. So. Let's eat it. Mm. I'm back to Naples. It is so delicious. This is the margarita pizza, but also I'm going to make a prosciutto one, which is so delicious. Actually, I'm going to make a prosciutto and wild rockets. So, if you want to see me make more of this fantastic pizza and many other recipes, just go to citali.com and let's enjoy it!